What would Hillary Clinton have done as president in terms of bringing refugees into the country? Well, what she said she was going to do was, for one thing, increase um, Syrian refugee resettlement to 500,000. She said per year. Per, well, or no. In the first year. In the first. Well, the target, as it stood, was to bring in uh, 10,000 in 2016, and another somewhere it was never really defined, but another 40 to 60,000 in 2017, and. Uh, Didn't Obama she, bring in more than 10,000 in 2016? He brought in about 15,000. Yeah. Well, actually, all told, since 2012, is a total of about 15,000. But here's another aspect of it that nobody understands. There were 100,000 Syrian refugees from 2012 to the present already here under different programs, but they weren't called refugees. Many of them were non-immigrant programs like visitor visas, student visas, and other kinds of programs that people just don't know about. And those people <clears throat> were fleeing Syrian violence every bit as much as the people who have gone through the refugee process are, they just weren't called refugees. There's something else called temporary protected status, where between five and 8,000 Syrians who came here under different circumstances are allowed to stay because under temporary protected status, anybody from a country named under that program can stay indefinitely as though they were a legal permanent resident. Through the streets of Beverly Hills and I dare say Irvine, there are sports cars, Maseratis and Lamborghinis blaring their uh, engines loud street drag racing mm. um, and and they're invariably Arab drivers the Arab <laughs> kids well is that included in this these kinds of statistics or are, are the students who come here separate well I think uh, a lot of Arab students come here well I think pretty much all of the Arab students come here come from wealthy uh, Arab families a lot of Saudi families with a lot of Saudi money and so for them I would say yes that's a result of uh, you know Saudi or other Middle Eastern, uh, Kuwaiti or UAI or UAE rather uh, countries who are sending their young to be educated in the United States and they bring a lot of money with them and their parents spend a lot of money to influence the way things are taught in colleges. And they also bring a lot of money to help build mosques in the United States and many of those mosques are being led by very radical is um, imams. So it's something of concern, should be concerned to all of us.